uh, through you, Madam Chair, to Minister Jolie, you've talked tough. Uh, you've talked tough with your uh, Beijing counterpart, so you say. Uh, you even stared into his eyes. I'm sure he was very intimidated. Uh, and now we, we learned today, and now we learned today, or yesterday, in the Globe and Mail very conveniently, that a visa was not, uh, was denied of a, uh, a, a diplomat who wanted to work at the Canadian uh, Beijing Embassy. Uh, one visa? Is that it? One visa? How many visas have been denied? Just one? So I want to comment on your question, and particularly the beginning, because I think it's actually... Madam, you, you, Madam, you know, Madam, the tone, Madam um, like um, to I'm going to pause time. I'm pausing specific. time. I'm pausing time. Our approach here is very important. So I would just say be mindful. Mr. Cooper, earlier one of your colleagues had said we want to make sure well, how much time we speak, the response is given. You spoke for 43 seconds. The minister will be given close to the same time. You are at 10 seconds already done. Minister. Thank you. Well, Mr. Cooper, you would know China because you went to China as a parliamentarian in the past. And so, therefore, I think you would understand that when we fall into too much, um, t too, too much partisanship, we're falling into China's trap, Ma which Madam, is trying Minister, to sow division Chair, many how democracies. How many visas of Beijing diplomats have been denied? Is it just one? How many? I can give you under my watch. What I can tell you is that there was a visa that was not granted back this fall. And so one. Okay, thank you for answering that. One visa denied under your watch. Uh, minutes and ago... I, I just wanted to... No, to, it's, it's a my time. No, no, no. But Ma just, Madam it, Chair, Madam no, no, Chair, no, my no, time is limited. And pause I'm ask for my you to understand. Pause, Minister. Okay, just, pause, pause. I, I just pause. want to make sure that we all understand Minister that it's Julie. a diplomatic visa. So it is a diplomatic visa. Obviously, we have I, visas that, for the Chinese community. My question was prefaced on... How many diplomatic visas? One. You've answered that question. Um, you said a moments ago that uh, Beijing's Ambassador Kong has been summoned on many occasions. It's true that the ambassador has been summoned with respect to the balloon incident, uh, with respect to illegal police stations, but not an election interference. Why? We've summoned the ambassador on many, many subjects, including foreign interference of all sorts, including within our democracy. Uh, on election interference? Yes or In no? Like, yes. like I said, yes. When? And maybe, maybe Jenny, you can add to that because the department would know, of course. Thank you, Madam Chair. I would just like to add that uh, Ambassador Tong, uh, diplomatic representations were made to Ambassador Tong at, by senior officials at GAC on February 24th with respect to interference in the 2019 and 21 elections? Uh, based on the, yes, that is correct. Okay, thank you for that. Um, Madam Minister, it's been more than six months since we learned of illegal police stations operating in Canada by Beijing. We just learned in the last 24 hours that there are two operating in Montreal, one in Broussard, one in Montreal, within 30 minutes of your riding. And yet, six months later, election interference, illegal police stations, tough talk, but not a single diplomat expelled. Why not? So when it comes to police stations, the RCMP has um, uh, confirmed that they have been closed. And so my colleague, Minister of Public Safety, has also given a lot of information on that aspect uh, before. Of course, we will not tolerate any form of uh, foreign interference, including police stations. I've been having many conversations with my colleagues around the world on this issue, particularly Tony Blinken again last week. And we will work with, uh, within uh, the Five Eyes to identify any form of foreign interference, including one visa, One uh, visa denied, not a single diplomat uh, expelled, hardly the actions of a government that takes Beijing's interference seriously. Minister, when you last appeared before this committee on December 13th, you said repeatedly, unequivocally, that you had no information about Beijing's interference in the 2019 and 21 elections. How is it 
that the Globe and Mail and Global News have information based on their review of CSIS documents about significant interference by Beijing in the 2019 and 21 <laughs> elections, but you, as Minister of Foreign Affairs, know nothing. How is that possible? Well, when it comes to activities of foreign actors in the country, the Foreign Affairs Minister was not made aware. And since then, I've made sure that that changed, that that would not be the case, because obviously, as everybody around this table would be aware, you, you've it asked is important. To be brief. Can, you, were, you didn't know anything in December. Can I just finish my sentence, please, Michael? So obviously, in the context, as colleagues around this table would agree, uh, as Minister of Foreign Affairs, I need to make sure that I have access to that information in order to conduct our diplomatic relationships in a good way in the in Canadians' interest.